Three boxes have to synchronize and join together into the Unity. The Unity cleanses a planet. In the world of comics, it's not just the superheroes and supervillains who take charge of all the excitement. Thanos from Marvel would not have been complete without the Infinity Gauntlet, and also the Green Lanterns from the DC Universe would not have been powerful without their Green Lantern rings. To narrow it down, we're talking about the mysterious and powerful artifacts from the storylines that are as important as the characters. Hello everyone and welcome to another marvellous video, where we will be talking about the most powerful artifacts from the DC Universe, Mother Boxes. These regular box-shaped items have often been mentioned in the comics and animated shows, giving us glimpses of its divine powers. In the Justice League live-action film, we also witnessed Darkseid use these boxes for malicious purposes. So what are these devices? Who made them? And how do they work? To find the answers, let us dive into our video and explore the origin and history of the Mother Boxes. Now, before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Now, let's begin. Origins of the Mother Box Mother Boxes are sentient, miniaturized, portable supercomputers created by a new Genesian scientist named Hyman. Although the true purpose of the Mother Boxes were unknown, it could access the source's energy, which made it grant a wide array of wondrous powers to its users. The Mother Box usually appeared like a box, but its size and shape have been shown to be different in many cases. The Mother Box was first introduced in Forever People Issue 1, published in March 1971, where it was wielded by the Forever People, Big Bear, Mark Moonrider, Seraphin and Biken the Black from New Genesis. The four New Genesians had arrived on Earth in search of beautiful Dreamer, who Darkseid had taken hostage. Upon arriving via a boom tube, they were about to collide with a car. Their mother box allowed their vehicle to phase through, and later, when the driver of the car lost control and ran off a cliff, the four New Genesians used the mother box to halt the car in midair and bring them back to safety. The couple traveling in the car was overwhelmed by the four beings and took a snap of theirs. They gave the picture to Jimmy Olsen, and when the latter revealed its story to Superman, he was intrigued by it. Soon, Superman located the four beings and offered his help to find Beautiful Dreamer. While Superman used his X-ray vision to locate the facility, Darkseid's Gravigards attacked. They managed to overpower Superman, following which four beings used the Mother Box to summon their savior, the Infinity Man. Infinity Man used his anti-gravity powers to take down their grave guards and free Superman. Together, they managed to free Beautiful Dreamer, following which the story ended. The issue teased the potential of the artifact, after which, in 1972, Two's Mr. Miracle Volume 1, Issue 9, elaborated on the true origin of the Mother Box. Holding the identity of a hunger dog, Hyman belonged to the lowest class of citizens on Apocalypse. However, he was known for his rebellion against Darkseid's forces with the aid of numerous advanced devices and gadgets. Hyman was an inventor and a scientist. He was the one who invented the boom tubes, and of late, his newest discovery, Element X, has helped him make the sentient supercomputer, aka the Mother Box. The plot is set after the peace treaty had been signed between New Genesis and and Apocalypse. The truce between Darkseid and Highfather from New Genesis was made after the two exchanged their children. While Darkseid's son Orion was raised in New Genesis, Highfather's son, Scott, was sent to Apocalypse. Scott despised everything about Darkseid and repeatedly escaped from Granny Goodness's orphanage. He later joined Hyman in his revolt and learned the ways of becoming a master escape artist. The issue begins with Darkseid's forces, led by Protector Willick, inquiring about Hyman. The ruthless enforcer questioned the lowlies about Hyman, and he burned them down upon not receiving any answer. Amongst the crowd of lowlies, only one man stood alive in the gust of raging flames, and it was Hyman. Hyman knocked off Protector Willock and was saved by Scott. From then, Scott joined his team of rebels and learned the art of escape. Hyman took Scott to his secret hideout where Lolis were making a mother box. A man named Cretan had just constructed the mother box using Hyman's circuit and guidance, but was unhappy with it for not functioning. A girl named Aurelie also possessed a mother box, which she used to create illusions of people dancing. While Scott was learning Hyman's ways of living and protest, the leader of the female Furies, Big Barda, arrived and arrested Aurelie. Later, Barda captured Scott and the rest. However, while she witnessed the cruelty of Protector Willock following the death of Aurelie, she switched sides. Hyman killed Willock and escaped with Scott. Scott and Barda. Hyman set up a boom tube, using which Scott escapes from Apocalypse. The issue concludes by giving us the origin of the Mother Box and Scott getting his freedom from Darkseid.
History of Motherbox in DCEU Motherboxes were also showcased in the live-action films. They were the sole reason why Darkseid's nephew arrived on Earth. According to the story, when Darkseid arrived on Earth thousands of years ago in search of the anti-life equation, he brought three Motherboxes with him to terraform the Earth into a planet-like apocalypse. However, Darkseid's motives were hampered after he was defeated by the combined forces of mankind, Atalanteans, Amazonians, Green Lantern Yalangur, and the Old Gods. Yalangur was killed, but Darkseid was forced to retreat after Ares, the god of war, struck a destructive blow at Darkseid and injured him gravely. Following Darkseid's defeat and retreat, Zeus separated the three mother boxes. Two boxes were taken and guarded by the Atlanteans and the Amazonians, while the humans hid the third box. During World War I, the mother box hidden by mankind was found and kept with the Allied powers. Later in 1944, it was held in the United States under the safety of the United States Department of Defense. Naive to its true origins, scientists tried dating it but failed, after which the artifact was shelved in an archive. Later, it was sent to Dr. Silas Stone, who discovered its potential energy. However, considering the technology to be volatile, he refrained from using it until 2015 to revive his critically injured son. Following an accident, his son Victor Stone was severely wounded, which made it impossible for doctors to save him. Silas then sought the help of the mother box. He made a video recording of his many attempts, in which after failing for some time, he activated the mother box. The artifact began crawling near Victor and repaired his body by fusing nearby technology with his organ parts, making him cyborg. Silas shut the video and hid it, but in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, the footage was shown to be in possession of Lex Luthor. The mother boxes in possession of the Amazonians and Atlanteans were dormant until the death of Superman during his fight with Doomsday. Steppenwolf received the signal from the activated mother boxes and planned to use them to terraform Earth. He first arrived on Themyscira, and after a vicious battle against the Amazonians, he managed to retrieve the box. He then attacked Atlantis, and after decimating several Atlantean warriors, he faced Aquaman and Mira. The two gave a tough fight fight but were put down by Steppenwolf who retrieved the box and left. The final mother box was in possession of Cyborg and Steppenwolf first began kidnapping everybody who came in close contact with the mother box including Dr. Silas Stone. Meanwhile Batman and Wonder Woman were forming a team. They had Barry Allen and Cyborg was yet unsure about the venture. However the kidnapping of his father made Cyborg join them as well. The four attacked Steppenwolf and saved all the hostages. After being defeated by Steppenwolf the team barely managed to escape and decided to resurrect Superman using the mother box. They exhumed Clark's corpse, brought it to the Genesis chamber in Scout Ship 0344 and placed it in the chamber's pool. Flash used his speed force to provide the requisite charge to activate the mother box and Superman was revived. However, Steppenwolf arrived and took the third mother box as well. Steppenwolf began fusing the three mother boxes which would terraform Earth but were opposed by the team of superheroes which then included Aquaman. Superman arrived as well following which the tables turned. Steppenwolf could barely lay a finger on him and was beaten into the ground. Superman and Cyborg then began began separating the three mother boxes. They had almost failed, but Flash managed to run fast enough to reverse time for a few seconds before he reached Cyborg and transferred him the necessary energy to split the boxes apart. History of Mother Boxes in DC Comics Superman's Use of a Mother Box Following the introduction of Mother Boxes in Forever People Issue 1, there were many other issues and comic series which revolved around the mysterious capabilities of this artifact. One such was in Superman Doomsday Hunter Prey Volume 1 Issue 1. Written by Dan Jurgens, the issue revolves around the story of Cyborg Superman having tossed the deceased body of Doomsday deep into space. The issue begins with Superman suffering from nightmares where he's fighting the unkillable Doomsday. Although the world believes that the threat of Doomsday exists no more, Superman is suspicious. Meanwhile, a space freighter under Captain Slavin bound for Apocalypse obtains an asteroid on board only to realise Doomsday has adhered to it. The crew immediately tried to get the asteroid off their ship but it was too late as Doomsday woke up and began ransacking the place. He killed every member of the crew and arrived on Apocalypse. It was all indeed orchestrated by Hank Henshaw aka the cyborg Superman who soon arrived and they both began causing a rampage on Apocalypse. Back on Earth, Superman began growing growing restless from his nightmares and sought to investigate what happened to Doomsday. He first sought information from the Linear Men, who were time travellers. He flew down to the house of Matt Ryder and met adult Matt Ryder and Wave Rider, members of the Linear Men who shared no information with him but a clue about a coming apocalypse. This was a hint to him about the planet Apocalypse. Frustrated, Superman arrives at the Justice League of America's headquarters to get some tracking information on Doomsday's asteroid. However, this was unnecessary as Desad from Apocalypse contacted them for help. Doomsday and Cyborg were impossible 
impossible to take down, even for Darkseid himself. Darkseid's Omega Beams, which are hotter than the fiery pits of Apocalypse, did not affect Doomsday. Superman finds meaning in everything that's happening to him and immediately plans to leave for Apocalypse. However, there were no ordinary means to reach the planet so far away, and that was when the Mother Box was used. Unlike the conventional box-like shape, Superman used a Mother Box which could be tied to his arms, and soon he arrived on Apocalypse via a boom tube. Henshaw revealed his plans to Superman, and with Doomsday standing in front of him, Superman froze momentarily. The Sad made use of this opportunity and opened a boom tube which sucked in Doomsday. Superman tried to reach him, but the boom tube closed down. The Last Mother Box In the Seven Soldiers Mr. Miracle comic series, Mother Boxes were destroyed during a war between New Genesis and Apocalypse. The comic series revolved around Shiloh Norman, Shiloh Norman, Shiloh Norman, the successor of Scott Free, and the new Mr. Miracle. He is popularly known as a stuntman and has escaped near-death situations. While performing a stunt at Star Labs, things don't turn out as expected, and he gets sucked into a black hole. At the end of it, he met Metron, who briefed him about the battle between the New Genesis and Apocalypse, and asked him to take sides. Later, Metron and Black Racer sought to train Mr. Miracle for his battle against Darkseid, whose objective was to obtain the last mother box that was left with him. Darkseid managed to take away Shiloh's, Shiloh's, Shiloh's mother box, and left him in despair by whispering the anti-life equation in his ear. Metron then appeared before Norman and restored him with the help of the life equation. When he later confronted Darkseid, the latter praised him for resisting the anti-life equation. Following this, he trapped him in the Omega Sanction, an endless cycle of synthetic lives. Each time Shiloh died, each time Shiloh died, each time Shilo died. He was reborn into a new life that degraded in succession. Meanwhile, Desad tried dissecting Shilo's mother box, Shilo's mother box, Shilo's mother box, and noticed something wrong. The mother box's inner spirit escaped and went into Shilo Norman, Shilo Norman, Shilo Norman. After continuous suffering in the endless cycle of painless lives, Shilo met the living embodiment of Omega Sanction and convinced it to escape with him. He finally managed to escape the cycle and found himself emerging from the black hole in Star Labs, where he was sucked in. Now he threatens Earth. Mother Boxes in the DC Animated Universe Mother Boxes were always associated with the new gods. Be it Orion, Mr. Miracle, or even Darkseid, Mother Boxes were frequently used by them. It was showcased in numerous episodes, but first introduced in Superman, the animated series, Season 2, Episode 25, titled The Apocalypse Now. The episode began with the Special Crimes Unit escorting an armoured truck into a heavily guarded building. The truck was carrying a huge amount of money that the Crimes Unit had confiscated from the Intergang. Despite the facility being highly protected, a high-tech hovering tank approached and burst into the facility. While all attempts to stop it failed, the mysterious tank took the truck containing the money and left. Superman arrives and tries to stop the heist, but the tank's pilots shot him down with a device that produced a screeching sound of such high frequency and magnitude that all glasses in the city of Metropolis were shattered. Superman began to bleed, but managed to take it down with the help of his heat vision. However, the flying tank escaped, and the goons riding in it were revealed to be working for a criminal named Mannheim, who in turn was working for Darkseid. Darkseid had formed an alliance with Mannheim and provided him with apocalyptic technology in exchange for helping him conquer Earth. Fortunately, Orion arrived and informed Earth's defenses and Superman about the soon-to-arrive forces of Darkseid. Upon meeting with Superman, he explained everything concerning Apocalypse and the New Genesis, elaborating on how the planets were formed, the war between the two, and how truce was achieved. He also explained that the Mother Box, using which he created a projection of all events that happened after Apocalypse and New Genesis were created. He later used the Mother Box to create a boom tube and leave for New Genesis. As the issue progressed, Darkseid sent Steppenwolf to resume his conquest, following which he appeared towards the end of episode 26. He tried dominating the humans on Earth with his power, but it didn't help much as the humans protested, and soon Orion arrived with his forces from New Genesis via boom tubes. Together, they forced Darkseid to retreat, and the day was saved. Made from a science so advanced, it looks like sorcery. Why does Darkseid need the Mother Boxes? Throughout all forms of media, the Mother Boxes have been shown to be an extremely powerful artifact, capable of performing innumerable tasks for its user. The name Mother Box was given to the device as it took care of its user like a mother. For Darkseid, the Mother Boxes have been helpful as well. In 2017's Justice League, Darkseid sought to use the Mother Boxes to terraform Earth into an apocalypse-like planet. According to the movie, the three Mother Boxes, once merged, would form a unity, and we all witnessed the struggle from the heroes to separate them towards the end of the the movie. Darkseid also used the mother boxes to transform beings into parademons, creating boom tubes for traveling.
How powerful is the Mother Box? The Mother Boxes are sentient supercomputers with unimaginable powers. First, they can sense danger, the presence of any life force and everything that goes around it. It possesses a vast knowledge of new gods and could also project visuals of the past, present and future. Being linked to the source, the Mother Boxes can manipulate gravity, emotions or the mental state of beings, connect to any life form via telepathy and rejuvenate or recover its users. The Boom Tubes, which are one of the main ways of travelling through the galaxy or even dimensions for the new gods, are created by the Mother Boxes. The Mother Boxes also have the capability to control matter and non-sentient machinery around them. A Mother Box could also support life in hostile conditions and transfer its energy to its users once a day. Artifacts similar to the Mother Box. Like Mother Boxes, there were other artifacts in the DC Universe that had similar applications. They were... The Father Box. Father Boxes were created by Metron, and like Mother Boxes, they were apocalyptic versions of a sentient supercomputer. Their powers were similar to Mother Box. These artifacts were introduced in the 17th episode of the first season of Young Justice, titled Disordered. Grandmother Box The Grandmother Box was created after Granny Goodness from an altered future of Justice League of America fused with New Genesis Central Computer. It was destroyed during a suicide attack by Wonder Woman. Ancestor Box Following the attack on Batman with the Omega Effect, Darkseid introduced the Ancestor Box. The Ancestor Box could warp time and space and had a hyperdimensional creature called Hyper Adapter within it. Orphan Box After the android known as Gonzo the Mechanical Bastard was destroyed, the leader of Shade, Father Time, transformed into an artifact known as Orphan Box. Its purpose was to rise against the mathematicians of the Anti-Life Equation. Marvellous verdict. So we finally come to the end of our video, and we hope you all have found it interesting as well as entertaining. Needless to say that the Mother Boxes are one of the most important artifacts in the DC Universe, with numerous applications throughout their run in all forms of media. 2014's animated movie, Justice League War, also showcased the Mother Boxes and the origins of Cyborg, and there were several other scenarios where the artifact's use and importance were showcased. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks Thanks everyone. Three boxes have to synchronize and join together into the unity. The unity cleanses a planet with